Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into your new moon energy reading for the month of January. This new moon is going to peak on January 11th, so 111. If that's something that piques your interest, if it resonates for you, I challenge you to look into the meaning of 111. It has to do with new beginnings, new experiences, new opportunities. Now, this new moon is going to peak in the sign of Capricorn. This is an earth sign. So it's going to bring in a lot of earthy energy. What does earthy energy mean? To me, earthy energy is practical. It's things that have substance, that have existence, that matter to us. Um, things that are going to change and make or break our lives. A lot of us, it's going to be a perfect time to set goals, to look at what we want to accomplish throughout the year so we can focus our energy with intention. So let's dive right into these new moon energy readings. Now, again, guys, if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up. If you like the vibe, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. It also helps to set intentions for future messages and for information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings. It's all linked below in the description box. So we're going to dive right into Scorpio's energy for this upcoming new moon. January 11th. See what we can see what's coming in through this upcoming energy most important message here for scorpio spirit what do my scorpion friends need to know what do they need to see through this upcoming energy please and thank you We have the moon, the five of wands, and the queen of, or excuse me, the nine of pentacles. So this is an energy of competing for somebody's time and attention. Now, the first thing that comes to my mind is work. Maybe this isn't competing for time or attention. Maybe this is competing at work or in a work-related situation. I definitely feel here there is a need to just stand your ground when it comes to this, just Focus on your work. Focus on your routine. Don't allow this to come in and distract you. The energy surrounding you, Scorpio, the temperance, the hierophant, the fool energy. There's a new beginning, a new opportunity that's being presented through this energy. And the, if I correlate this with what's coming out as the underlying energy, this is like a new job opportunity, a new work experience. But maybe you need a little bit more experience under your belt, a little bit more time at being in a certain position. And so you're needing to have patience with the process here. There's definitely a soulmate type of energy that's coming out in your reading as well. And I feel like the reason why this person is coming out so heavily is because this person is helping you to get a foot into this door when it comes to this new opportunity. Maybe they're the one that is presenting you with this new opportunity. And so that's why you know that this isn't going to go anywhere. What I would say to that Scorpio is lean into the routine, lean into your current work, Gain the experience that you need in order to make this work for you. Part of the challenge here is there's some confusion in regards to your future. Okay. And on my channel, I always talk about getting clear on that bigger picture vision. You know, you can go back in many of my messages and hear me talking about 
getting clear on a bigger picture vision, taking time, and not just like, I want to have money. I want you to get crystal clear. Like, take time, write it out, think about where you really want to be in five years from now. Like, honestly, truly, where do you see yourself? Okay. And then, does this align with that? Let's clarify the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Hanged Man. It's a little bit of a change in perspective when it comes to, like, getting crystal clear on what it is you want your future to look like. This may take some time. So don't think that you have to rush in. Yes, a vision board does help, but it's more important to have that long-term vision. Like, what does life look like at the end of the road for you, Scorpio? Where do you see yourself? Like, when you retire, when you are sitting down relaxing on your porch with a porch swing, like, where do you see yourself? You see what I mean? It's all going to be important because it's going to help you to see if what you're doing right now is in alignment with what you want for your future. If it's not, then it gives you an opportunity to change it. Why does this matter? Because there's new opportunities that are being presented to you and there may be multiple opportunities, okay? You're going to need to use your discernment when it comes to this Scorpio in order to move forward in a positive direction. Let's clarify the lovers, the king of wands with the devil energy. Where there's a lot of fire energy coming out, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like you may feel like you're competing for this person's time, attention, and energy, and I feel like it's something else than what you're thinking it is. So before you go blaming and accusing, have a conversation. Sit down and talk about it, okay? Again, this lover's card is coming out twice for you. So there is an emphasis on relationship, on a person in your life that's helping you through this process. And you may be feeling some tension with this person at time, at this time. Take some time and have a conversation with this person. If you're feeling like you need more time, more attention, tell them that see what they say. If they're open to communicating. Then of course, by all means, like have a conversation. Don't try to do anything to disrupt the flow of things just yet. Okay. Let these new opportunities play out. I would say by the middle of January, okay? Let's pull a few cards out for your spiritual advice, Scorpio. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. If you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. With the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups, there's something here that you're needing to leave behind in order to move forward in a positive direction. I do not feel like it has to do with a relationship. However, this person that you're in a relationship with is helping you through this process, if that makes sense. Don't try to beat this person up too much. Don't try to rock the boat too much with this person. If you feel like there's something that you need closure on, go to this person directly and have a conversation. The Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is working together, working on a project together. But the Eight of Cups is like emotionally leaving something in the past. Okay? 
So maybe this is focusing on work and not focusing so much on the emotional side of things. And that's how things are working out. I definitely feel here, Scorpio, this devil energy is standing out to me heavily. So if there's something toxic, a toxic relationship, maybe a toxic behavior pattern that needs to be addressed, just have the understanding that it needs to be worked through. It's not going to change overnight, but it's something that needs to be addressed. Okay. I also feel, Scorpio, that there are going to be some secrets that some friends have been keeping from you that are going to be revealed through this energy. So be open, be aware, and keep your ears and your eyes open. Okay. Your lighted pathway oracle message to sum up your reading. You have 2222. Two, two, two. In every circumstance of life, this huge change is going to bring you inner peace and harmony. All conflicts are coming to an end to give way to compassion and empathy. So for those of you that maybe this is having to do with a business partnership or work related, okay, there's an energy of this being faded, okay? So leaning into that, you're going to feel if an, an, if an opportunity is meant to be for you because it's going to give you energy. It's not going to deplete you, okay? So just be mindful of that. Give yourself time to heal. The feeling of burnt out leaves you being drained. Just one more little thing is too much for you. Rest Take a few moments off from the chaos and restore your energy. Then we have be grateful. Be thankful to those who assist you and even those who are messing your life up. They all come for karmic reasons and this brings you closer to the divine. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.